we're looking at creating a garment so by the end of three days the young people will have created their own piece of work using the post-war modern as a starting point. Uh, today, which is our first day, um, it's basically looking at the exhibition, coming up with concept ideas, drawing up patterns and then preparing for the next two days. Initially I took the students around the Cold War Modern Exhibition. What I always think is very important to explain to them is that they don't just immediately go for fashion exhibits. A starting point might be a piece of sculpture, a painting, um, a textile piece or even a piece of furniture. Well in the exhibition we looked around the Cold War and in the museum and there was loads of um, buildings and um, sculptural ideas with lots of um, lines and spikes and things and I really thought that was really good. There were posters and stuff which I looked at and they all have very simple, quite bold um, messages as you'd expect from a poster but in their own style which seemed common at that time and I tried to take that and see how I could put it into clothes. Well, I looked at a lot of the shapes. I thought a lot of the shapes were really organic and they were all really simple to make a really interesting thing. Like, I drew a Vespa um, here, which has got really simple shapes, but it's a really interesting thing to look at. Tomorrow, hopefully, we will be cutting the patterns, uh, sorting out fabrics, and starting to create the garment in its, its earliest form. It's all quite basic at the moment. I haven't actually added um, any detail or, I mean, I'm going to add a few patterns and stuff. I'm going to make a buttonhole and there's, there's silver buttons over there because I'm using the Cold War idea um, and the buttons are quite military-like. And, and then I'm bringing through a few patterning by sewing there and there um, white lines which I've taken from one of the poster ideas within the exhibit. Um, this is like my design, I've made it out of paper and then basically I've cut a section out of it and cut it into pieces here to create the pattern pieces so this used to be like here, so it used to be here and I cut that out put it together to create like a corset, a corset that um, like fits around here it would be part of the top part of my dress and my design. Originally this was on the other side as well with the patterns and then I had to cut that off and make the patterns into the fabric. Oh, and it will pin there and go back around the sides to the back. I just need to get these two panels finished and then I can start on the skirt. Yeah this is my dress and the first two like panels are PVC. Yeah. And then I've had the idea of putting, like later on, I'm going to put like tubing to kind of make it stick out a bit. Around the back, I've used like a silk, which I thought would give like a different effect to the PVC. And I'm doing some like ruching. By the last day, Friday, they should have completed the whole garment. So that will be complete with all the details. So fastenings, buttons, zips, etc. Um, there are quite a lot of um, like sculptures and buildings and things, and they have a lot of like spiky architecture. And so this was what the lines were. Never done a fashion designing course before, so um, I haven't really got anything to compare it to. But um, I really enjoyed it and um, I thought it was really interesting. I've made things in the past but not in this sort of atmosphere, like the atmosphere of a workroom sort of thing. So it's more formal in that way, but not like strict or anything. Starting off I was a bit unsure of that, like if I had like enough ideas or stuff like that. I've taken army-esque Russian style, taken that forward, um, which I had near the beginning and gradually refined and refined till I got this, which as you can see is pretty refined. 
When my mum put me through this course, I was like, oh, I'm never going to finish anything. It's just going to be a bit of material. But to actually make a dress is really good for me because I've never done anything like this before. Design, generally, particularly for young people and in schools, um, I think can often be quite limiting. And I think what we need to recognise more is that design is, is transferable. That if you can look, if you can think, if you can be creative, you can transfer those, those skills into other areas, whether that's literacy, numeracy, science. So design for me is, is a good starting point and a good transferable skill to have.